Hi, this is Sean Tiemann with Carbon Black. This is a short end-to-end -end demonstration to showcase the integration between VMware App Defense and CB Defense for VMware. This tight, bi-directional integration is part of VMware and Carbon Black's strategic partnership. Together, App Defense and CB Defense for VMware fully secure the software-defined data center. What VMware is doing with App Defense is providing least privilege to the application layer of the software-defined data center. AppDefense leverages a positive security model, figuring out what's allowed and only allowing that to happen. AppDefense makes it easy to manage applications at scale in the software-defined data center. Security teams are able to use scopes to define the machines and allowed behaviors within a given application. Scopes also give security teams vital business insight into the applications within the software-defined data center. They can understand how many virtual servers support a given application, understand how important each individual machine is to that process. Rules allow the team to trigger alerts and enforce automatic remediation on deviations from known good behavior, enabling the security team to quickly contain attacks while reviewing the alarm data. Alarms triggered from deviations from known good behavior give quick insight into what occurred and what it means. The security team is able to quickly evaluate the in-memory state of a process before and after the anomaly is recognized. Whereas App Defense leverages a positive security model, CB Defense takes a best-of-breed approach to negative security, that is, finding and identifying suspicious and malicious activity to protect endpoints. CB Defense accomplishes that in a couple of ways. First of all, CB Defense determines file reputation using multiple factors prior to execution in order to find new and emerging variants of malware, ransomware, etc. CB Defense combines that with streaming prevention to look at processes as they're executing and the behaviors that they're performing in order to determine if they're following suspicious or malicious patterns in real time. CB Defense can then step in and stop those attacks by terminating rogue processes or denying unwanted operations as part of that. To show a quick example, let's take a look at PowerShell. Right? PowerShell is an everyday application. Uh, everybody's running it in their Windows environment. Right? PowerShell's fine. I don't expect PowerShell to be bad. But PowerShell is easily abused by attackers in order to maintain persistence and expand their footprint in your environment. As an example here, I've got an attack where PowerShell ran memory from a system security process. I can take a look at this, and if I go into the alert triage page, because CB Defense combines that streaming prevention technology with full EDR functionality, I'm able to look and see what happened on that endpoint. What were the events that led up to that attack? What were the root cause events that led up to it? Right? I can see here that a batch script was executed before PowerShell ran. And then I can see that PowerShell made a network connection with this IP address, 192.168.230.154. I can see that CB Defense stopped PowerShell from running and that PowerShell attempted to inject into notepad.exe before it was terminated. I can scroll down and I can see which behaviors were exhibited in this attack. Streaming prevention is powered by this ability to attach TTPs or tactics, techniques, and procedures to these processes in real time and use the accumulation of these TTPs and determine, is this suspicious, is this malicious, should I take action to stop it? If I scroll up and I click on the investigate button here, this will take me to the event stream for this attack. And I'll arrange these events so that we start at the beginning. And I can see that this first started when PowerShell was running on the machine. And if I open these up, I can see that there's a very low priority monitored alert score associated with that. Monitored alerts in CB Defense are used for threat hunting exercises, for visibility purposes. They're not necessarily suspicious, but as I look over time at how PowerShell is behaving, including establishing network connections, opening other PowerShell instances, things like that, right? we begin to see how this attack escalates over time. I can see here that it attempts to modify the notepad process successfully. Still not malicious. But here, once it attempts to inject code into that process, CB Defense blocks that operation and it terminates that instance of PowerShell. And now I've gone from a monitored alert score of four to a threat alert score of six. This is now dangerous. It's worth my attention. It's not just a threat hunting exercise anymore. 
This is now dangerous and it's worth my attention. When I'm looking at this information, CB Defense terminated one instance of PowerShell, but attackers are persistent, so they're going to keep trying to expand their footprint to get credentials. So as you follow this PowerShell stream further, you're going to see that the attacker with another PowerShell instance they have running is going to attempt to read memory from LSAS. They need credentials, they need to escalate their privileges. Once again, Streaming Prevention sees this behavior. The threat score is now 7 instead of 6 because we're touching security processes and we're terminating this PowerShell instance again. We've now thrown two alerts in under five minutes, terminated two running instances of PowerShell, so the security team should be all over this. They can then take action like quarantine the endpoint, fire up a live response session to terminate running processes or grab information off of that machine. But streaming prevention by monitoring PowerShell in real time is able to alert and disrupt attacker behavior, even though there's no malware. This is a fileless attack that is stopped by streaming prevention. The App Defense and CB Defense for VMware combined solution takes these two best of breed approaches to positive and negative security and combines them to fully secure the software defined data center. By combining this knowledge of the intentional state of applications with streaming prevention, the solution is able to effectively cover all attack vectors within the software defined data center. By layering full EDR on top of that, the solution provides visibility into attacks, including the ability to quickly identify root cause. Let's take a look at how CB Defense for VMware leverages the App Defense integration. CB Defense for VMware pulls in the App Defense scope context around security alerts, as well as providing visibility into the security coverage of assets within the software defined data center. First, let's talk about VMware assets. Here in the dashboard, security users can instantly police the security governance of the software defined data center. They can see which virtual machines need security agents installed or which are fully covered. Let's drill into that. Here in the new VMware tab, I'm able to see exactly which assets require additional agents to comply with my security governance policies. This information is coming from vCenter via the App Defense integration. If I drill into one of these machines that has a CB Defense sensor installed, I can see that CB Defense for VMware highlights which assets running a CB Defense sensor are part of the software defined data center. Note the VMware icon in the additional context I get when reviewing the virtual server compared to other assets. The App Defense information gives a security analyst immediate insight into what this machine does and which applications it supports. This context is key. A virtual server that is the only server supporting a critical business application is much more important than an end-user laptop or one of 50 virtual servers supporting an application. Let's take a look at how this asset information will enrich our security alerts. Here, the App Defense data we're displaying helps a user triage an alert faster and smarter. If I'm a security analyst reviewing new alert data within CB Defense, I get an instant look at the App Defense context of this virtual machine, helping me to understand the context of this alert. By drilling into the alert triage page, first, I can quickly understand what this virtual server's purpose in life is using the App Defense scope and service information. Second, I can easily determine the criticality of this virtual server to help minimize the impact to business systems. Once again, looking at the number of virtual machines in a service, I'm able to see, is this one critical or is it a server I can afford to take offline for a little while? Finally, I have critical VMware identification details to help me find that virtual machine so I can easily involve my IT group as needed. This app defense data is populated throughout the user interface intelligently to provide context anywhere a security analyst is reviewing data. Now, let's take a look at what App Defense is doing with data from CB Defense. First, App Defense is pulling CB Defense alerts directly into the user interface. These alerts revolve around the CB Defense primary process, just like in CB Defense. Drilling into this alert, we get the CB Defense alert primary process details combined with that excellent App Defense business context. With these alerts in the App Defense console, users can take App Defense remediation actions against an alert originating from CB Defense. As the integration continues to evolve, CB Defense remediation actions will also show up here in the App Defense console. But for now, let's say I want to shut down this VM to contain this attack. 
I am able to safely shut down the virtual machine from the App Defense console with just a couple of clicks. Continuing to look at this alert, the CB Defense event details are also displayed in the App Defense console alongside the App Defense data. By clicking on the Events tab, I am able to see the full CB Defense event data. As a security analyst, this context is key for me to determine the scope and severity of an alert. Finally, we're also displaying the CB Defense threat data within the alert. This is the TTP information, the tactics, techniques, and procedures used by the CB Defense Streaming Prevention Engine to detect suspicious and malicious behavior. This information gives me quick insight into what was happening in the process alongside that same deep process analysis provided by App Defense. The goal of this integration is to increase security teams' efficiency by providing context from both positive and negative security viewpoints while allowing them to work within the console they prefer, CB Defense, App Defense, or a SIM. This is just the first look at the strategic partnership between VMware and Carbon Black. The VMware and Carbon Black engineering teams have a targeted roadmap of additional features coming throughout 2018 to continue to tightly integrate App Defense and CB Defense. Together, App Defense and CB Defense for VMware accelerate triage, automate response, and provide consistent controls to fully solve the security challenges of the software-defined data center.